a decent man and an honest guy. That describes the late John Andrini. John Andrini was the founder, principal, owner, and CEO of Andrini and & Company, which he established in 1951 in San Mateo, California, and built into one of the largest privately held brokerage firms in the United States. A top-level breeder for more than 30 years, John, in his own name, raced the earners of more than $2.1 million while breeding the earners of more than $6.3 million. As an original member of the First Down Dash Syndicate, he bred Grade 1 winners and First Down Dash sons D First and Volcom, the latter of which has sired the earners of more than $6 million. Born November 10, 1927 in Los Angeles, Giovanni Aurelio Andrini, John, was the son of an Italian immigrant who had a friend who founded what would become Bank of America, which is the title sponsor of AQHA's Bank of America Racing Challenge Program. Convinced that the bank needed an insurance arm, the elder Andrini and a couple of partners bought an insurance company that they later sold to Transamerica, the holding company that controlled the bank. And my father never worked again, John told the American Quarter Horse Journal in 2009. So when I came back out of the service, my father asked me what I wanted to do. I said, I want to be in the insurance business just like you, Pop. But I got in on the wrong end. I had to work. No problem. Discipline came easy for the young man. After the United States entered World War II, John joined the United States Merchant Marine at age 17, the year after his mother died. Serving in the Pacific Theater, John transported cargo and troops to India, the Philippines, Iwo Jima, and other islands. After the war, he married his first wife and went to night school. John studied banking and law, later worked for the Bank of America as a bookkeeper and teller, and finally went into insurance. Then, horses entered his life. One of his clients was a business owner who was treasurer of the Ranchero Visadores and invited him to the 1965 trail ride. Knowing nothing about horses, John turned to a polo playing friend who taught him how to sit a horse. He made the ride and never missed another for more than 45 years. John found his passion. He became involved in racing in 1968, first with Judd Morse, a trainer he met on the Rancheros ride, and later with trainer Blaine Schwanevelt, with whom he also partnered on the Schwanevelt Andrini yearling sales. John served in many capacities to the racing industry, including as a commissioner of the California Horse Racing Board from 2006 to 2009 a partner in entities such as the Los Alamitos Equine Cell and a board member in the Pacific Coast Quarter Horse Racing Association, where he led efforts to provide workers' compensation coverage for horsemen and backstretch workers on California tracks. In 2003, he accepted PCQHRA's Frank Vessels Senior Award for contributions to quarter horse racing in the Golden State. His horizons went well beyond California. In 2008, John took home the AQHA Gordon Crone Memorial Award for national contributions to racing. Then he was one of four partners who paved the path to the new era for Rio Doso Downs Racetrack, the iconic New Mexico track that hosts American Quarter Horse Racing's signature event, the All-American Futurity. An AQHA Director Emeritus, John served on the AQHA Racing Council, Racing Committee, and the American Quarter Horse Foundation Council. He also supported the Foundation's scholarship program by creating the Adriana Andrini Scholarship. He also donated to the Colorado State University Veterinary School for Research on Injuries in Quarter Horse Racing and made regular donations to the Racetrack Chaplaincy of America. A board member of the Cow Palace in San Francisco, he also was a member of the original Beef Eaters of America, which financially supports FFA, 4-H, and college students. More than anything else, it was on his wife Linda's 2,600-acre JL Ranch where he found peace. John had children, Mark, Peter, Lisa, Tia, Adriana, and Adam. John died July 27, 2018 and AQHA renamed its most important honor for an individual in the racing industry, the John Andrini Special Recognition Award. I don't need any flags waving, John said. Just a decent man, just an honest guy. That's what I'd like to be remembered as. Now the horseman takes his place in the American Quarter Horse Hall of Fame. <laughs>